Hey guys, um, this is going to be a video about the fittings that I'm using for my car. I'm going to go over a few things um, about the fittings that I'm using that I don't think a whole bunch of people know. Because um, I posted a couple things on Instagram um, and every, a lot of people were asking what kind of fittings I'm using. So everything on the car is either vibrant performance fittings or jiffy tight fittings. I'm mostly just going to go over the jiffy tight fittings because that's what I have majority of on the car. Um, I, I can point out a few things on the vibrant performance anyway while I'm going through it. So uh, here's my reservoir tank that I have for the brake pedals inside the car. All of these are a dash four. These are all jiffy tight fittings. They're um, quick disconnect fittings. And I'll just show you if I can get it off of here. It takes a little bit of force. It comes right off. And then you can just pretty much snap it right back on. But it's just sitting on my tire, so it's kind of hard to do. So they come in uh, a whole bunch of different series. There's some too many to list. I can't remember them all. But I believe at least this one right here is a 2000 series, for example. I think it literally is a 2000 series. If you want um, this series or and you want a quick disconnect, this is a 2000 series. So if you want to connect it to this piece, this has to be a 2000 series. So each series has to be used with its own series, basically. And pretty much goes on like that. This one right here is called a valved fitting. See, so has stuff in there. So whenever you remove this fitting, there is no fuel that's going to come out. It's going to stay inside the line. And also, this one right here too is a valve fitting. And I believe if you get valve like this, if this is a valve fitting, I, th I think this has to be valve too. I'm not 100% sure about that part. But if you want this, the series has to match what you want to connect it to. So whenever I disconnect this, no, no fuel comes out, and then you connect it just that easy. This one right here is a Dash 10, and I believe this one was a 50 series. It's not valved, and um, the, I think they make valve versions of this one, but I didn't get it for whatever reason. Not, I don't really care that much. Anyway, they're, they're both going to be um, quick disconnects also down here at the start of the firewall. That's how I'm going to run my lines, just in case any reason I need to remove anything, I can do it. And it won't be too huge of a mess if fuel starts leaking out. Here's a Dash 16 fitting. This one also is a, a flow through. It's not valved. And this, these come off pretty easy. This is not going to be like this if you're wondering, it's just for a demonstration. So uh, jegs.com and summitracing.com will sell these. Jegs, I think, has a larger option of these, like this big one. I couldn't find them on summitracing.com, but Jegs has pretty much all of them. But usually, all the fittings are shipped from the manufacturer, and it takes some time. And it's not like delivered the or shipped out the same week. They, the company, ships it out themselves. But it's pretty cool. I'm going to have these for my radiator. Just pretty much need to do that. And it's connected. And these are the pieces that they'll connect to. This just screws onto the Dash 16 bung. Same with this one. Um, these fittings are pretty expensive. Like this one right here, I think was $70 to $75. And the valved ones, like this little one, is they're the even high dollar cost too. I think this one was over $40 for just that one piece. So if you decide to do um, these fittings, I think if you want a little bit cheaper cheaper side, you can go with the flow through design where there's no restriction of fuel at all. So that's pretty much how those work. I'll just show you what's in the back of the car. This is pretty much where all the vibrant performance stuff is. I got a couple of Jiffy Tight stuff back here. 
All these are vibrant performance. Even the fuel lines. This is vibrant performance. So is this one, this one, and then these two. These two are a Jiffy Tight fitting. This one's a valved fitting. It's a dash 10. And this one's what the non-valved dash 10 looks like. The only reason I went with the two different ones was the way I wanted my fuel uh, set up to be. Since this one's shorter, I think it's called a compact series, is able to just do a tight bend and then this one was longer so I could go around it and connect that way. Because I wanted to use both ports of the fuel cell, I just didn't want to use one. Um, so that's the only reason why I went through a valved and then a non-valved. But uh, these come off pretty easy, just like the little ones do. Pretty much like that, and then you can connect it. There's the another dash 10 right off of the fuel filter, right there. This one's also a valved series, so if I wanted to take this surge tank off, uh, I would just disconnect that and then unbolt it from the car, and it could come off. You wouldn't really have any fuel leakage if you took these fittings off because all the fuel is inside there. It's not going to overspill, I wouldn't think. <laughs> anyway, um, so that's where the fuel lines are going under there. The return line right there underneath the big one, I didn't do any valved fitting. I'm, I may in the future, but I was just trying to get some of this stuff together so I could see how it was going to look. But, uh, yeah, that's the... Most of the fuel setup. If you have any questions about the fittings that I didn't mention, just uh, leave a comment. I'm sure I'm forgetting something, so. I'll show you the pedals. I put a couple of the fittings on. I don't know if you'll be able to see them from the Dash 4s. Yeah, you can kind of see them. It's got them sticking up right there. I just put them on earlier because I got them in the mail today. Hope you enjoyed the little knowledge drop on the fittings, but yeah, just if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. But that's pretty much it. Thanks, guys.